Now this guy's a fish out of water. <laughs> How you doing guys? Doing alright? And another lovely day in uh, Yogg's Box in Minecraft. And I'm hunting some shark. And why am I hunting shark? All shall be revealed. Essentially what I'm trying to get is uh, Mo Creatures has a number of materials you can get from the uh, from the mobs and you can use it to make items. That's right. Come here, Jaws. Come on. Come on, then. And you'll notice I'm hitting him with a new weapon as well. I'll show you how to make that in a moment. If you're unfamiliar with it. Oh god, lost the there's one tooth at least. But yeah, I've basically been exploring what Yogg's cast has to offer. Um or Yogg's cast's Yogg box, as it were. So yeah, um, with shark teeth you can actually make uh, clothing and uh, basically you just put it in the same order as you would like any other clothing, you know, like if you're making it out of iron or whatever, you can make it out of shark teeth. And uh, I used it to make this chain helmet and my chain boots, so that's nice. I just learned how to do that the other day. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, another thing is, I learned you can make a lot more weapons now with the Oxbox than you could before. Like, you can make, um, you know, you can make like a double, well, you can make an iron battle axe, essentially. And uh, to do that, you just, like, go all around like that, you see. And th there's like, there's like, oh, half a dozen to a dozen different weapons you can make. I think there's, no, it's actually, there's at least a dozen weapons you can make, and they're all... Um, pretty awesome, especially, you know, I'm used to the, I've made a crossbow before, uh, I've made a blunderbuss before, but I, I didn't know there was, like, even more weapons than that available, so, that's really cool. Right, so I'm going to show you what's going on with the village, uh, as you can see, I've been making a lot of mud bricks on top of my beach shack hovel, because uh, they do need a lot of mud bricks, um, the Hindis. And basically I've been helping them along the way and uh, I kind of cut a lot of it out. I didn't want to bore you guys to death. Um, I wanted to show you kind of before and after. But it didn't work out, um, sadly. It didn't work out as planned. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yes, I think I know what's going on. This. <laughs> As you can see, their house didn't work out quite as planned. It's rather bad. Um, basically, they didn't put the floor in. If you know this, there's no floor to this place. And um, why they did this, I'm not quite sure. I think I may have had a hand in it. I'm not quite sure. So basically, this poor family is going to be going like that through all eternity. I have tried to fix it. As you can see, I put dirt in there to try and fix it. They actually have a solid, they have a solid floor now. I fixed that for them. And I, I basically fixed the whole place for them, but it's still not working out, sadly. And okay, well, they've started again. <laughs> so yeah, everything's very glitchy. And, and buggy, and the stairs aren't done, and nothing's done in this place. And I, I, I did my best to help them out. I gave them all the materials they needed, and eventually they ran out of space. Not enough space. So Millionaire is still as buggy as I remember, sadly. I remember back in the day, Millionaire was pretty buggy. It still is. Um, uh, That's a damn shame. I wish it wasn't so buggy. I really wish it wasn't so buggy because I love this mod. But it's still very, very buggy. And uh, we're going to have to move on elsewhere, I think. Um, It's time to bid a fond farewell. And I've... I've um, I've already packed up my stuff and moved some of it, so we're going to go now to the new place, uh, which is a new village. Uh, I mean, I basically upgraded them as far as I can go, and I, it's just not possible to upgrade them anymore. I've tried, like, flattening land. I've tried getting them, you know, like, come on, you got lots of flat land now, and they're still like, no, we don't have any space, so basically they're broken now. Um, which is a damn shame, you know, it makes me like, oh, no, that's, you know... I just spent like hours uh, grinding away trying to upgrade them and now they're broken you know so that that that's an unfortunate part about um 
about millionaire mod is it's still a bit buggy and they don't seem to have fixed those bugs. Ah, the sound of crunching bones. I'm afraid I've, t I mean, I've tried helping them. I tried even removing their floor. They still do that for some reason. They still act as if, yeah. So millionaire, what are you doing? <laughs> it's funny. So anyway, today's subject um, was suggested in the comments of the last video, and today's subject is going to be talking about atheists uh, versus um, theologists or theists. Uh, and basically, um, the person was saying, you know, what do you think about the war going on? And I was, uh, what, uh, you know, my first thought was, well, there isn't a war going on, maybe a war of words, I guess that's what you're referring to. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about the war of words going on between atheists and, and uh, religious people in general. Although it seems to be mostly atheists versus Christians. Um, the Muslims don't seem to be making many videos about it. Uh, you know, but then then again, they you know, uh, Muslims seem to uh, seem to either ignore it or they get extremist about it. Um, this, this doesn't seem to be anywhere. There's either moderate uh nice muslims who really don't care you know they're just like well you've got a different faith than me whatever or i don't like what you're doing but i'm going to ignore it anyway because you're i think you're an, an idiot or whatever and it, there's loads of different kinds of um like there's different kinds of atheists you've got the fundamentalist atheists you've got the the kind of relaxed scientific atheists and you've got the uh, the really easygoing atheists that don't really make videos at all. They just I'm an atheist, whatever. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. it doesn't matter what I am, um, you know. And the same with re religious types. You've got the fundamentalist religious people. You've got the the kind of moderates who you know make videos and talk about it, but they don't really force it down your throat too much. They do a little bit, but not too much. And then you've got the really casual um, religious people who are just like, hey, I have a religion, I don't make a big deal out of it. It's just my way, you know, my my choice, I guess you would call it. Um, hello, zombie. Thanks for the brain. And a scaly too. Come on. What I love about the battle axe, you may have noticed, it pretty much one shot stuff, and it also gives a knockback, which is amazingly good compared to the sword. But anyway, yeah, so, you know, it, it, it's it's like, it, they, you know, it's been a bit generalist. I mean, people aren't exactly in those pigeonholes, but, you know, it's roughly what people are like um, when it comes to religion and atheism. And it, it, do, do you notice that there's some similarities there? Um, you know, atheists would never like to admit it, but there's a lot of similarities between atheists and religious people, theists, or theolo theologians. There's a lot of similarities. Um, for example, atheists like to preach um, what you might call the gospel of atheism, which is, there is no God. Never was a God. You've been duped. And I want, I want to preach to everybody about it and spread awareness about it. But, you know, And they do so in a very, very preachy way. Um, so in many ways, they... Oh, zombie brain, lovely. In many ways, they, you know, I... You know, they, 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 they almost preach like the religious preacher, you know, they, they get so worked up about it. And I'm like, well, you know, I get you passionate about it, but, you know, try not to force it down people's throats, you know. Um, and, you know, you could argue that, well, it's a video, you don't want to watch it, you don't, you don't click on it. But, um, you know, sometimes you click on a video to get a different perspective, and if they're, like, really, uh, I don't know, preachy about it, and not, like, kind of reasonable about it, it makes you kind of, I don't know, skillies everywhere, god damn it, die, I'm low on health as well, and I don't have any food, which is stupid, so, I'm gonna try and make it back with a few, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll cut down a tree or two and see if we get some apples, no, no apples in that one. It's a bit too easy with uh with the uh, the uh got some crocodile hide there. 
It's a bit easy with the woodcutter thing, but uh, I like it that way. Um, at least on single player. Because you do cut down a lot of trees there. I got an apple. I think. Yeah. Excellent. Two apples. So yeah, you know, so y they're very much alike. <laughs> It's interesting, you know, it's like, well, you're a lot like a Christian. Um, I suppose the only difference, well, one of the big differences is that atheists don't tend to say that, uh, you know, stuff conflicts with their beliefs, therefore you shouldn't be able to do it. And, um, you know, that, that, that I, you know, there's like certain videos that they make and certain dis arguments they make that I support wholeheartedly. I mean, uh, you know, I, I suppose I should. I suppose I. I'm like getting ahead of myself. I should outline what I am, um, but I'm sorry, but I can't pigeonhole myself. I can't put myself into one group or another. Um, basically, because I don't. I don't seem to have an exact group. I don't identify with one group over another. I. I am um, one of these annoying people who believes in many things um, because I can't. Many, many would say that I can't decide, but I say that I keep an open mind, uh, because you, if you're scientific, and I, I think of myself as being uh, reasonably scientific about things, or at least my world view of things, um, I have to keep my mind open about every possibility. You know, people, people talk about, like, if you don't believe in God then you're a great scientific mind and you, you believe the, only in the facts. And I'm like, well, actually, no, you're actually discounting um, what could be because there's a lot of strange things in the universe that we can't explain. A lot of things that science can't explain. And, um, you know, it, that's not to say there should be a deity just because science can't explain it. However, you can't prove or disprove, so why would you discount something you can't prove or disprove? You know, it's it's just the same for me, you know, they bring up the pink unicorn argument. Um, I'm going to say that I would, uh, you know, I'm not going to believe or dis disbelieve in a pink unicorn, because I can't prove or disprove it exists. Um, that may sound daft, but, you know, it's the same with a lot of things, you know. Uh, a lot of things up until a few years ago didn't even exist. We hadn't discovered it yet, so, you know. Um, people seem to limit their thinking all the time into a little box. And that's not a good thing. You need to think outside the box. Only thinking outside the box do we invent awesome stuff. And do stuff that... We, you know, electricity is a, a great example. It's like, we never knew it existed. Um, not really. And uh, it was always passed off as magic or whatever, and then all of a sudden it exists. We know how to use it, you know. And that 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 was only by thinking out of the box that we got to that stage. So it's really sad. Oh, ghost! Ah, scary. So yeah, it's only by thinking outside the box do we progress as a race, as a species, as a intellectual species. You know, we we've got to think. Well, it could be a deity. You know, and and there's a lot of talk about deities. Are they aliens? Are they an actual deity? We just don't know. So why not be like, well, I don't know. So it's okay to not know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say either way. You know, but uh, we as a, a species, you know, really really hate being on the fence. We don't like to be on the fence. It's like, oh, you can't be like that. Oh, you know. Then you're an undecided person, weak-minded person who can't make a decision, and it's like, and then you know, every time I hear that argument, I just roll my eyes because it's like, no, you're just revealing yourself as a weak-minded person because you must make a decision on something, and you must have a final, uh, you know, you must have a final opinion on everything, um, which is kind of dumb. You know, it just is. It's like. Your brain's so primitive that you must have a final solution for everything. You must make sense of everything. It's like no, you've got to, you've got to, you know, accept that you don't know everything, and you will probably never know everything. And that's the wonders of that's the great thing about life. You don't know everything, and you never will know everything. And uh, you know, sorry to burst your bubble, but you know, like a microscopic amount of the universe. Um, so. 
Yeah, we gotta we gotta get ourselves in perspective. You know, we are a speck of dust. We are absolute nothing. The human race is absolutely, you know, a tiny speck of dust in the in the cosmic scheme of things. So we really need to get back down to earth. We're not, we're not, you know, we we we're kind of a small way away from being just a mindless animal, basically. Ooh, this is an interesting place. This is like some kind of weird mine going on here. Yeah, I think they're getting cobblestone there. Cool. So anyway, back to atheists versus religious people. So there's, I've categorized this like roughly three groups. You know, fundamentalist and, and kind of, you know, diametrically opposed fundamentalists and then very, very, very casual um, atheists and religious. And the fundamentalists, atheists want people to give up religion. They want people to realize that what they're doing is, is as they see it, dumb or whatever. And the fundamentalist Christians basically want everyone to convert uh, to whatever religion they're a part of. And they want them to see the light and to be, you know, to attain whatever kind of spirituality they think they have. And, and uh, you, know, I, you know, I look at this as, as being, well, this is human nature, you know. It's human nature to want people to join with you and your beliefs. No matter what your beliefs are, you want people to join with you. And uh, so we, we've created these things called religious uh, r religions uh, in order to enjoy those those beliefs together, you know, and um, there's no harm in that. But I think the harm comes from when you try to push it on other people, you try to tell people how to live and stuff. And you, you really, that's the last thing you should be doing as a, a religion is telling people who, who aren't in the religion how to live. Um, because then you just come off as a... Um, that you're better than them, and you're not. Uh, you just have a different belief than they do. And that doesn't mean that you're better. Um, it, it just doesn't, uh, because you can't prove that... I mean, you know, I said I was going to clarify what I am, and then I said I can't pigeonhole myself, so sorry. I apologize in advance of my rambling, but uh, I'll go back to my clarification. I'm all over the place. I, I just do that. A lot of... You know, even the atheist does that sometimes, you know, we all do it when we're talking about stuff. But yeah, so because my opinion on belief and religion is very broad ranging and very liberal, you know, and people really don't like liberal minded people, but I am a very liberal minded people, so suck it. <laughs> you know, I believe that everyone has a right to believe what they want to believe. And me personally, I believe there is a God, some kind some kind of universal god. Um, I believe that every religion has something's right and something's wrong. Uh, and for me, it's very easy to see what's right and wrong about religion. Uh, basically, if there's a belief that hurts some other human being or makes some other human fe being feel bad in an emotional or spiritual way, it's not a good part of that religion. It's a part of that religion that's been introduced by a person. Uh, by a person who is a negative person, right? And everything that's good about religion has been introduced through a spiritual means. Uh, you, you know, whether you believe that God told you, told them to write it down or what, or you believe that a prophet wrote it down. Um, you know, if you if you read uh, what what some of the prophets like Jesus, Muhammad, um, Abraham, and 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 Moses and all that wrote down, um, most of what they wrote down is pretty positive stuff, like don't steal and don't kill people. It's it's not nice, you know, and forgive everybody because if you don't forgive, the cycle of revenge goes on forever. Uh, little things like that, you know, it's like well, that makes perfect sense to me, you know. And so I think the thing, I've started on a mine shaft here. I'm just going to see where it goes now because these guys need a lot of cobblestone to progress. So I'm going to try and help them with that. And I actually found this underground cave. Isn't it cool? Anyway, so, you know. Oh, nice sound, sound effects. But yeah, because I'm, uh, you know, I believe everyone has a right to believe in whatever they, you know, if they're an atheist, good, you know, good on you. If you're a Christian, good on you. But. I think where I the only thing I don't like about um, atheism and religion is when they when they try and tell people what to do. Um, I don't like that. I think atheists don't do it so much, which is good. Um, but still, 
um, you shouldn't try and tell people what to do. Like, for example, um, the Sabbath, uh, Sunday. Oh, God, something going on over there. Sounds horrific. <laughs> yeah, something going on underneath there. What the hell? Seems to have stopped. What the hell is that? Anyway, so you know, it's not, it's not a bad thing until you start affecting other people's lives with it. Because you know, if you're, you know, I'm a, I'm a humanist. I'm a, you know, I believe that in the good in people, and you know that people have the right to decide what they want to do and stuff. And and if you want to work on a Sunday, you should bloody be able to work on a Sunday. Regardless of whoever's religious beliefs, you know, the fact that entire countries have been dictated to by religion is just, quite frankly, ridiculous. And quite often it was state-controlled religion as well, which, again, is absolutely ludicrous. That should never have happened. Religion is not a state... Um, run thing and it shouldn't be connected with power at all in my humble opinion a religion should never have power over people's lives at all it should just be a method of spiritual people getting together practicing the same beliefs and that's it no asking for money no you know although if you want to donate donate but they shouldn't ask you for money you know that kind of thing really corrupts religion and that's why everyone is turning well a lot of people I shouldn't say everyone I'm not gonna make sweep I'm gonna try not to make sweeping generalizations if I can help it but yeah that's why a lot of people are leaving Christianity and other religions is because we're fed up I you, you could say I left Christianity I used to be a Christian I guess you would call me um, although my church was the United Reformed Church which is a very liberal church anyway I left them when I was like 15, 16, a long time ago now. And the reason why I left was because I attended a seminar. And basically they were trying to, trying to, uh, you know, get me to go into like leading religion. And I was shocked by what I saw there. And I'm not going to talk about it too much because some of the stuff I saw was very, very shocking. And I'm sure if I revealed these things, I would uh, get a lot of flack for that. So I won't actually reveal what I learned when I was at these religious seminars and stuff, where they kind of, they kind of, you know, they're trying to get you to want to lead religious groups, you know, especially religious youth groups. Um, but basically, it was all about like power and power over people. And they talked, about, they actually talked about this. You know, the reason why I'm doing this is because. It's great to lead people spiritually and lead them to a better life. And I, I like to lead people, that's why I'm doing this. And I'm like, hang on a minute, you know. This is all about control and, you know, it's just, ah, no. This is not what religion should be about at all. What have you done? What what have you done to what, 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 what you know, could be an awesome thing? And it might just be that particular... That particular religious group, they were kind of um, evangelists and stuff. I don't know how I ended up going along with those guys for a little while, but I did just to check it out. Uh, and I, I, I swiftly left left them because uh, they kind of scared me a bit. Um, <laughs> you know, because uh, certain religious groups are great, they're laid back and they're awesome and they're really nice to people. And then there's other religious groups that kind of let everybody down. Um, you know, while well, they let that their religion down and they, they don't act like uh, proper Christians. So, you know, people are calling me an agnostic, people call me a, an, a, an atheist because I don't believe in all the Bible. Um, I choose the best bits and they're like, oh, you can't pick and choose, you can't do that. I'm like, yeah, you can. You know, I mean, you know, you, you know, it's like a Christian, you say a Christian, well, well what, what did, what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? He said, love everybody, forgive everybody, no matter what. Um, if you ask for forgiveness, you will be forgiven for all your sins, no matter what. Um, always question everything. Don't worship in temples, because the kingdom of God lies within your own heart, not within 
temples and churches and what do they do? They go and worship, worship mostly in churches and not outside of churches. You know, don't worship man. What do they do? They go and worship saints. So a lot of really stuff that doesn't make any damn sense. And no wonder people are just like, what? The, you, know, you, relig you know, you religious people don't know what the hell you're talking about. You even go against your own book. Um, you don't follow the book, you're picking, you know... Oh! There's a raid planned on Coelho, apparently. That's not good. Ah. Yeah. So, I might have to defend them in a moment. I'm just getting them a bunch of stone at the moment and getting myself some materials while I, while I ramble away. Uh, I do understand it's rambling, guys, so if you don't like this, I, I understand. Just skip ahead or something. I'll try not to end on the ramble. But yeah, it's uh, it, uh, but it, it is a very interesting subject for me, um, because uh, I I do kind of despair a bit when uh, atheists and 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 religious people are, are are kind of fighting each other in a war of words. It's like well, there's debating and then there's ranting at each other, and I think that they need to learn um, the difference. They need to learn, you know. Healthy debate is good. Uh, ranting at each other is not not much fun, um, but they find it fun. So whatever, you know, whatever, you know, it it's, it doesn't really bother me that much. I just don't watch it. You know, I mean, I watch the Amazing Atheist because he's funny, predominantly, and I love his political views because uh, I don't necessarily share them, but um, <laughs> I agree with a lot of what he said. Oh, I hate these little ones. Get away. Horrible little things. You can barely see them. Die. But you know, I believe. Uh, you know, it's like religious people. I I kind of like understand where they're coming from, and I support them. But when religious people want to stop gay marriage and stuff like that, my support goes out the window. I mean, it's like it's like. It's like, so you're against gay marriage because there's some obscure passage of the Bible written by a dodgy priest who was, you know, a well-known zealot and, and pretty much a very negative priest who wrote this thing. I can't remember the name of the damn passage now. And that, that's what you're basing your faith that, that homosexuality is a bad thing on. And it's like, no, it wasn't in any of the Gospels. Jesus never said homosexual, uh, homosexuality was a bad thing. Therefore, if you are a supposed follower of Christ, you should support gay marriage. Um, you should support anything where it's just two people uh, loving each other. What's the problem? Hello. <laughs> you know, it, it's, a, it's the basic rule of morality, which you can apply to anything, uh, which is if you... If you hurt someone mentally or physically, it's a bad thing. You shouldn't do it. If you do do it, ask for forgiveness from them and whatever higher power you believe in or even karma or whatever you, you know, whatever you believe in, you should ask for forgiveness and, and hopefully be forgiven for that. But that's the basic rule of morality. You know, it's, it, it, it's under like a bunch of different names, but that's what it boils down to. Don't hurt anyone emotionally or physically if you can help it. And if you have to, you know, uh, you know, at least um, realize you've done something wrong. And if you think you've done it for the right reasons, then you probably let it go. Um, you know, I'm just like, I did that for the right reason, so I don't really need forgiveness. Although you need to, you need to examine that very closely to make sure that you are doing it for the right reasons. Because there's very, very few reasons for hurting someone emotionally or physically. There's almost hardly any reason for doing that. Um other than revenge or you know some other stupid reason and it is a stupid reason you should never uh, hurt people unless you uh, you really have to like in self-defense something like that and you should strive to make your life that you don't do that in your life because it's not a good thing it always kicks in the ass at some point you may get away with it loads but at some point it will catch up to you and will really screw you up when it does so you don't want to do that trust me Anyway, what are we do? So they need a buttload of cobblestone and a load of stone. So it's pretty much cobblestone, and then we'll bake a bunch of stone. I made a lovely uh, little. By the way, it's good advice uh, if you're starting out in Minecraft. Build on the water, because no mobs will harm you while you're constructing it. Pretty much, even with more creatures, as long as you're in the middle of ocean, 
Yeah, they can't get to you for some reason. They can't get over one little bit of wood. So it's always a good idea to start there. So yeah, I think that when atheists make videos about how religion oppresses people, or how religion hurts people, or how religion uh, controls people, like says, you know, you know, like they go out to do something they can't do it because of religion. Yeah, you got a legal right to gripe about that, and I, I support you, you know, totally. I mean, why should why should you who don't believe in any god have to put up with stuff? You know, like have to put up with beliefs of other people. You know, have it affect your life. It's just it's just ludicrous. What is that? What is that down there? <laughs> It's like a zombie in in chainmail and an alligator. I gotta check this out. Somewhat. This is an amazing place. It's like an underground dungeon of some some kind. That's really cool. But yeah, you, you know, you have a right to. Um, I might might actually um, try mining off to the side because I don't really want to go down there just yet. I need some stone. But, you know, if it affects your life in a negative way, you've got every right to complain and uh, r even rant about it. But I think if, if someone's practicing their belief and they're not affecting other people around them that much, at least they you know, at least if it's just a small minority, you should, you should basically center on the small minority. Don't, uh, don't, don't try to center upon, like, one religious group and say, oh, Christians, oh, Muslims. Because there's always different factions, you know, I like to call them factions. Oh, do shut up, really? Bloody noisy creatures. You know, there are different religious factions, and there's different religious, uh, you know, well, different atheist factions as well. You know, there's fundamentalist atheists who are just pricks, basically, you know, they're, they're really more interested in upsetting religious people uh, for their own gains either satisfaction or monetary gains, you know, so they just make videos for controversial sake. I don't like those people. Uh, well, I don't approve of what they're doing, basically. <clears throat> but, you know, if you're a religious person and you're making a video regarding that you can't practice your religion because the government won't let you or whatever, then fair enough. You know, you should be able to practice your religion however you see fit, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. Emotionally or physically, that's the rule. You can't, and nobody is above that rule. Nobody should be above that rule. Um, so as long as you're, you know, what you're doing doesn't affect anybody, uh, I don't see why not. So there you have it. There's my my thoughts on on the kind of war. Ah, oh, done. I've fallen down anyway. <laughs> At least I can shut these up. Shut that. Get off you. Get off. Damn it. Let go. Die. Bloody alligators. Can't even hit him now. There we go. That was a bit buggy, wasn't it? Very buggy. I think I threw my axe away. Now I'll get it back. So yeah, there, there you have it in conclusion, guys. Sorry if I rambled a bit. I, di I just, uh, it's a very fascinating topic with a lot of, lot to it. So I'm not going to cover it in, in its totality because I'd probably bore the pants off most people with this. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to hear more about this uh, or if you want to hear something else. I mean, talk about something else because, you know, I, I find the, the, the subject fascinating. Um... And I hope that you don't mind my uh, my views, you know, I mean, just take it as my opinion, you know, these are my opinions, they're no more or less valid than your opinions, you know, I think you're right in your opinions, you know, and I respect them, and I wouldn't try to change them for the world, I just talk from a, from a common sense point of view that I've developed over time, um, and, you know, that's taught me things like, um, everybody has the right to do what they want to do. Everyone has a right to be an individual. Uh, everyone has a right to do what they want to do as long as it's not harming anybody else, you know. I, I don't see why government, religion, or anyone else has the right to tell you how to have sex, uh, how to think, how to feel, 
anything like that. They just don't have the right at all to tell you those things. And, um, you know, that, 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 that's always been the part of religion and stuff that I, I've never, never liked, uh, or condoned. Um, so, you know, if you're going to get in religion, find a group that's not like that. And they do exist. There are like Christian groups who are, you know, they believe that only in the word of Jesus, for example, and there are people that only believe in the word of Muhammad, and you know they don't. You know there are Muslims who don't believe in oppressing women and don't believe in, you know, forcing women to do certain things. Uh, so you know you just need to find the religious group that best reflects your beliefs if you want to get into religion. You know, so I would say you know don't think that all religion is bad because it ain't. It really ain't. It's a, it can be a very beautiful spiritual thing. You know. You just have to find the right people and the right group. Because, unfortunately, people are people and people are imperfect beings, you know. you got to give human beings a break, you know. that That's what part of being a humanist is. You give people a break. You know people are imperfect. But you, you hope that people will eventually kind of come around, I don't know, become better as time goes on. With more wisdom and more years, people will will come around and they will learn better ways of doing things. It's It has been happening. You could argue it is getting slightly better. Some things are getting worse, some things are getting better, but that's the way it goes, you know. So anyway, there you go. So if you make videos, if you argue about things that are valid and important, then great. Uh, if you just make videos to cause controversy or you want to I'm right and you're wrong, then you're an idiot, uh, pretty much. I'm right, you're wrong, yeah, are you five years old? Pretty much is my my answer to that, those kind of videos and stuff. It's like, really? You're like, still trying to prove you're right and wrong? Don't you realize right and wrong doesn't matter that much? Um, you could be wrong for all you know. You do, You don't know you're right, 100%. I mean, if you're a smart guy, you know that you... I mean, a smart guy knows he knows nothing, basically. A wise man knows he knows nothing. And I, I try to follow that philosophy. I know jack shit about anything. I can only go about what, what I've learned so far, and I can only say what I've learned so far. And, uh, you know, I don't claim to be a wise man, but I try to uh, to think like a wise man. And a wise man doesn't look for right and wrong. The wise man looks at how everything is and well, and says, well, I don't know enough. Sorry, I don't know enough. And that's how kind of how I am, and it's annoying, but I, I can only say I don't know enough. The only thing I know for certain is hurting people is bad. Emotionally or physically is not good. It's not good for me, so I know it's not good for other people. So I shouldn't try to do that as much as possible. It's not always possible because we're human beings, and I know that being, you know, me being a human being, I know that other people are just as uh, likely to make mistakes as I am, just as likely to get emotional as I am, you know, just likely to make mistakes as I am. So you know, I am incredibly lenient with people because I know they're just as, you know, uh, undisciplined and and greedy or selfish as I am sometimes. Um, you know, not all the time, and, and some people are more than others, but, you know, we all have that part within us somewhere. I think we need to realize that. I mean, we really need to stop this judgmental bullshit. Like, oh, we, I'm perfect so I can judge you and stuff. It's like, no. It's like, if anything, you should be like, well, you've obviously got something wrong with your head, mate, if you're doing something wrong like that. So, you need help. You don't need punishment. You need help. <laughs> um, and I, I think that's where we're kind of heading right now, is realizing that human beings are generally, you know, one step away from animals and that we need to help each other. We don't need to punish each other. We need to help each other. So, there you go. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn in some of this cobblestone and see if we're any further along with helping these guys. So today I've shown you how to make new weapons, uh, which is pretty awesome. I love that the Xbox has given us new weapons and stuff, or rather the the mod has given us new weapons. 
I think it's called Weapons Mod or Further Weapons Mod, I can't remember the exact name. And then uh, also we've got the uh, Mo Creatures materials which you can make uh, into armor and stuff just by following the same existing patterns which is also makes things very very simple. And here we're going to turn in about cobblestone. They need a lot. It's it's kind of I I often feel it's kind of too much cobblestone. Cuz you know, I mean, I'm going to give it all the cobblestone I just got there. And they still need more, you know. So I'm probably going to get a bunch of cobblestone so you guys don't have to see me mine. The next episode probably, so I'll go off and do some mining and stuff and uh, maybe build up the house a bit more and stuff and then we're going to do a bit more exploring because I've spotted several really cool towers around here. There's actually this uh, really big, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, fort around here that I have no idea what that's about. So it's going to be really cool to check that out and we'll see that next time guys. So see you then. Thanks for watching.